if there was, out of all the things we talked about, if on my parting shot I can inject something into you, it would be one thing. For you to feel the way I feel right now, about 43 years old, if you knew that, if you actually knew how much more time you had, if you could context how uncomfortably young you are, if you guys could understand that you're a part of a generation that means you're gonna live four, four, four more full lives. From the day you were fucking born to right now, you're gonna do that four more times. If you can contextualize that, if you could contextualize the blessings you guys have, that you don't live in a culture where you're expected to be married at 25 and have a kid at 26, that there is normalcy created around the fact that you can go and have a 20 year career and then start your family if you chemically or intuitively or culturally or internally want that for yourself. We are being so confused by the macro media landscape and the political landscape, it has never been a better time to be alive in the history of the world. For everybody who's being persecuted for looking different, I remind a lot of my friends to go talk to their great grandparents and ask them how it went for them. This is why, like, this is why we need to spend more time with elderly people that are not our relatives. You want equal pay and like this and that? Cool. Go talk to a 63 year old professional woman. Like, shit's good. And the shit, a lot's bad. You get to choose how you look at it. Not me, not them, you. You just haven't contextualized time. I'm yelling at you to waste eight years just to begin the process of trying to do something. I'm telling you, and I know I'm right, like in my fucking soul, that you should waste the way you see the world eight years on resources and time just to start the thesis of what you should do with your life. And a bunch of you debated heavily if this was the right internship versus a different one and like what will happen and this and that. None of it fucking matters. If you actually knew that you would never find out what the alternative was, shit would get real good. You know how easy it is for me to make decisions? Super easy. Do you know why? I wouldn't know what the alternative was. Because you, it's not practical. I don't have time to dwell on the fact that I passed on Uber twice, which was my best friend of any investment that I made. Every person I invested in was not as close to me as Travis was, and for some miraculous cosmic reason, I passed on Uber twice, which means that my $50,000 investment, which would have been worth $700 million today, didn't happen. And when I tell you I don't think about it at all, here's why. I'm smart and thoughtful enough of knowing how life works. Had I made that investment, everything would be different. Maybe I'd be going to India to give a keynote about that investment because I would have much bigger profile, much different resources, and maybe in that private flight, maybe that flight would have gone down and I would be dead. It's the biggest weakness everyone has. They're trying to spend time on something that doesn't exist. There is no time machine. Sorry you picked the wrong school or sorority, or girlfriend, or major. Sorry. What are we gonna do, what, we gonna build a time machine here? That's your practical optimism? Sure is. Cause it's both optimistic and way more practical. Cause the punches are the framework. Especially if you're fucking on the offense versus dwelling. Everything will work out if you decide everything will work out. It's very real. My mom lost her mom at five. She was in the Soviet fucking Union. Real communism. Her dad then went to jail for a decade. That's a fucking tough hand. She's the most optimistic fucking person I know. You're uncomfortably in control. Yet this is the great generation of feeling we're not. Google's in control, Trump's in control, Brexit is in control, my parents are in control. You want your parents to not have control? Stop taking their money. It happens real fast. 
real, 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 real fast. <laughs> and all that means is you just have to live a little more humble. Which, oh by the way, would most likely lead to much better behavior by you going forward. And a shocking, shocking level of happiness.